For this project, we will have the unique opportunity to work with Denver Green School. We're going to be automating their chicken coop door using our custom built Code Makes It Go exit door controller into this, the biggest chicken coop I've ever seen. This chicken coop is massive, and they also have a plan to have goats here, which makes sense because that is their mascot. <laughs> Not only that, but there's a large area for the students to learn about agriculture. I know based on this picture, it looks like every kid is failing this class, but we just got out of winter and they'll have it back in shape in no time. So you might be wondering why a middle school has all of this. It's because they have a sustainability class taught by this guy. And recently they have some chicks to one day live in their coop. I don't like um, touching them. So we are going to make Nick's life a little less stressful by automating the opening and closing of this chicken coop door. And you may be wondering, how can an automated door lower anyone's stress? Well, just take a look at these people's stress levels when they accidentally slept in. Peter! We forgot the chickens! Or the same lady when she went to vacation and forgot about her chicken coop. The chickens! Nick understood the benefits of an automated door right away. And after talking to him about the available options we could provide, I was able to negotiate him down to only accepting all of them. By the way, I'm donating this project to the school, and like most of my projects, I do all of the work for free just to get the video content for you. In some cases like this one, I also buy all the parts. And speaking of parts, the very first part that we need is a project box. Especially since this will be going inside of the coop, we need a sealed box. So that is what I got. All right, so for this next part, when I'm moving my hands like that, just cut the video to where this appears and it'll look like it just came out of thin air. People love that effect, all right? Got it? Are you listening? Mm-hmm. Now for the parts to put in here. First, we have the DC power. This is a sealed battery and it's okay to put in a sealed box like this one. And you could also mount it any position you well, I wouldn't mount it upside down, but you could if you wanted to. Next is the solar controller. So this gets power from the solar panel and will trickle charge this battery. So it's always ready to go whenever we need it, just in case the AC power is disconnected or we lose power. To switch between the DC power and the AC power, we have this little power block. Aww. And this is like a battery backup controller. So basically, when we lose power from the AC, it automatically switches over to the DC. And when we get AC power back, it switches back to the AC. Next, we have the garage door controller. And this will go up top here. And I need it up top and facing the school so it has the best chance to get the Wi-Fi signal it can. Uh, in fact, the biggest problem with this entire project is that you have a good Wi-Fi signal where the chicken coop is. And finally, we have the mother cluckers exit door controller. So this will be mounted on the lid as well, right above the solar controller. This will operate the actuator. We have an 18 inch actuator here, which is a beast. Wow! The actuator moves very slowly at five millimeters per second, which is, I think is good because it gives time for the chickens to get out of the way or negotiate the door if they needed to. Usually they're all the way out of the way anyway, but this has a pushing force of 300 pounds, so pretty strong actuator. And finally, last couple parts, we're going to use LEDs. We have a green LED to let you know that there is power getting to the box. And we have a red LED that lets you know the door sensor is working, a door is closed or open. And we have a push button that I'm gonna mount on the outside of this door. And that way you can manually open or close the door if needed. So I think that's about it. Oh, let me show you the solar panel. Got the solar panel here. This thing is huge. This is the 30 watt solar panel. And I don't think I needed 30 watts, but the 30 watt version came with these nice stands. So I can mount this on the roof of the chicken coop. And the 20 watt version came with the really cheap stands. So that's it. I'm going to start putting this box together and we'll see how it goes.
During the build, I realized the battery had a message for me. It did not want to be charged in the sealed container. And this is because there's a small possibility of it leaking hydrogen gas if it gets overcharged. And a 4% mixture of hydrogen gas is explosive. So instead of testing this theory, I decided it would be best to just vent the sealed box. The source code for this project is available for you to make your own customizations to the coupe. Here, I'm adding the lights on the outside and making them fade in and out instead of them just blinking. The project box is now complete, so let's take a look inside. We have our custom board, and this provides an easy way to connect the garage door controller without any soldering. The nice thing about this electrical box is that it has a false floor so you can route wires under it to keep things looking pretty clean. For the AC power and the battery, I printed out some brackets to help hold them in tight. And lastly, the solar panel controller which manages the battery charging. And as usual with these boxes, all the wires are passed through the watertight grommets. So this is some recycled wood I got from Home Depot. It has the blue marks on it, I mean it's 70% off and it's badly cracked. But the nice part is it has this quarter inch channel on the side which I can use for the door to slide up and down in. So I got this board really cheap. It's perfect for the sliding door and so we're going to try to recycle this. The other thing we have is a 2x2 two two quarter inch piece of plywood for the front of the door. This will slide nicely in this channel. Um, we just have to cut it to size. Now that we have everything ready to install, let's take a look inside and I'll show you where everything will go. Well, this is it. I'm gonna put the door right here in front of this other door. I'm gonna mount the controller right here on this side of the wall. The solar somewhere up top. And that's it. We have AC power going into the chicken coop, which is unheard of, especially on the inside, which by the way, we're gonna mount everything on the inside because we have so much room in here. So I think that'll work really good. The only thing I'm worried about is the rails for the doors. So I think we're going to start on that, maybe second. The controller I'm going to mount first because it's the easiest to do. I'll mark the holes here. All we have to do now is bolt it onto the wall. Onto these posts. Like that. And then simply just Bolt them down. I'm a bit embarrassed because all I have is this adjustable wrench. I forgot my wrenches at home. So I prefer not to show you this part with me struggling trying to use this adjustable wrench. Everything's secure. Definitely not going to go anywhere. So I think that part is done. Next part we need to do. I think we should start installing the rails for the door. Now that we got the rails installed and I'll cut the door to 18 inches wide, then we should have the door that will slide up and down in here. Got the door cut, it's pretty secure. Slides up and down pretty easily. It just slides down by itself. So, I think we did a good job. All we have to do next is install the actuator. And always install the actuator with it fully extended first. And you want to install the end of the actuator to the top of the door. You want to pull the door instead of push it from the bottom up. Sometimes the door can get bound up and uh, cause some problems. So it's always better to have the push pull action from the top of the door. Then we just have to mount it up here somewhere. Shouldn't be too hard, but have to cut some more wood. All right, so we are at day two of this build and all we have to do now is get the actuator installed and do some wiring. We should be done. Let's get started. Oh, oh, got a little 
almost done there. Yeah. All right. So today we're just going to install the actuator and the door. We should be good. Dad, I could help. What do you want to do? Could, I could just give you the tool. Okay. <laughs> That's a hammer. I don't need that right now. Yep, yep, yep. You can hit things with it. I have this 3D printed part where the actuator bolts on. And I made this bracket so I could have six little bolts going into this thin piece of plywood instead of these two gigantic ones. All right, so I got the actuator door installed. Everything's pretty secure. Obviously, the door won't open with this actuator here. But if you do need to open the door, or for some reason everything breaks and no power and the battery dies, you can pull out this pan and move it up and down manually or just remove the door since they have two doors on this chicken coop. So the next thing we're gonna do is install these emergency stop buttons. Obviously, you don't need these for your chicken coop, but for one out of school where kids might be playing games going in and out of the door, or if they just unintentionally have their foot under the door while it's closing, they can quickly hit this emergency stop button and it'll stop power to the actuator. So this is power going to the actuator. It's gonna go to the outside emergency button first, then the emergency button from the outside is gonna come to the inside, connect to this one, and then it's gonna go back up. So that means any emergency button you push will kill the power to this actuator. All right, this project is coming to an end. Another successful project. So I'm really happy with it. The door came out nice, emergency switch, last minute cleanup. We can do another test. Make sure it's still working. I'm sure it is, I don't know why it wouldn't. There's the door going down very slowly. Bump the emergency stop, door stops of course so now everything is working final step is put these labels onto this box nick will install the solar panel on the roof and we're done i like to thank dgs school for allowing me to do this project especially matt and nick and i hope that this automated chicken coop door makes your lives a little bit easier so you can sleep in if you want and not have to worry about getting the chickens or closing the door before the chickens get home wait chickens don't come home cows come home hold on wait let me do that over where are you going oh no i've been flying from town to town from london to taiwan I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul.